Uh, when we make this first catalog, yeah, we had an exhibition at the gallery, man, and uh, at the time, uh, we want this book to be a very casual one, not the, how can I say, very authentic, authent not, oh, not authentic one. So, which everyone can uh, take it in in their hand, and they can they can buy it quite cheaply, and so. So we named this book as catalog. Yeah, and so you know, and uh, just that uh, so you said that uh, so I want everybody to, to take this book uh, uh, just uh, just like a catalog. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you go to a restaurant, you get the same kind of menu, and you pick it up, and it's it's, it's so easy. And uh, I didn't want to make a we didn't make a book just uh, with a hard cover and uh, the hard cover book is sitting in a bookshelf. It's that is that is not what we wanted. That is the first lesson. And then secondly, I didn't want to uh, make any manifesto. You know, I know that some artists try to make a manifesto first and then try to show how he could achieve that idea in reality. But uh, on this book, uh, uh, we really wanted to make sure just we are the artists responding to each requirement. And it's the, the, uh, the answer or the, uh, the, the conclusion should come to the end. So you, you'll find some uh, articles and the bark, not the flaunt. So you look at the, the old works first, and then you get some kind of feeling. And then I said, yes, this is what we wanted to do. Just at the end. This is the first book. Yes. So as, a, as our architecture, yeah, the books should be the uh, for the for the for all the people for the normal people, so so we wanted this book to be a very kind of a on which only architecture people read. Yeah, which uh, I wanted this book to be a for the for all the people who who is not related to architecture at all. So we want this book as casual as possible. Yeah, actually, I think it was successful. You know, when after since I published this book. Sometimes uh, just uh, some people are coming to us and they have uh, a book at the restaurant, and uh, they actually they are nothing to do with architect architect work. They are not planning to build any architecture. Just they found this book and it's, they found it's interesting. Just like uh, buying a magazine showing all, all kind of stationeries and also some kind of uh, cuisines. You know, I think architecture should should be parallel to all these kind of daily items. That is the uh, beginning of this the title. This should be cultural. And one of the, uh, one of the character of this uh, a book is that we are not showing imaginative project. Mm -hmm. I think this uh, all projects should come out from a reality. And uh, there is no there is no computer graphics and then uh, there is no just a sketch project maybe just only one just the imaginary project but it, that was supposed to be a real project people are reading this book will find well in the reality still we can, could, could, could do such interesting things you know that's the kind of you know, you know effect we are trying to get just we want we want the people who read this catalog to uh, feel the, uh, the how can I say the architecture can be uh, uh, can can do many things. Yeah, you you can dream of something through architecture. So architecture has some kind of possibility for the people to achieve their dream or uh, to make their life happier or something like that. I want. The, I want well, f f the people to feel that kind of possibility in architecture. And there's another reason we, uh, we made this book as a catalog. That we didn't exclude any of our works, as long as we, we could get uh, an uh, agreement with the client. Usually, most architects try to uh, put a uh, good part of the works in the book. All the projects are qu quite precious for us. Just like you know, all of them are. All of these are our children. You know, some of the children 
were uh, giving me a quite hard time. But you know, when you get when you get that kind of child, you adore the child more because you you spend so much time on it. You you find so many projects in one book, not just showing just the uh, you know, press just the exclusive project. You know, that's the reason why we are trying to make it a catalog. And you know, this is a first uh, uh, first uh, monograph. So just we try to, we try to show what we can do. You know, just we are showing our capability. And then second was just uh, okay. Now we have some obligation to uh, show technique to our colleagues. So this was uh, mainly for uh, professionals. Professional doesn't mean just only architect. So just like a uh, owner of the kindergarten, owner of schools, and all these people. And the three, uh, it's uh, three has a kind of you know task to uh, expand idea to the public and the next generations. Because uh, at the beginning we didn't know what we were doing. And uh, and the second, eventually we found that oh, well, maybe just we know what it is, so we can tell the idea to the others. And the third one is uh, really, uh, really more just uh, we we feel that we know what we are doing. On on the number three, we really know uh, what architecture for already. So. Uh, what uh, we want to say, uh, you know, what uh, our architecture can do, and also we want to teach the students what they were supposed to, so what they are going to do in society. So this is just a, this is really just a, maybe just mostly just for ourselves that we are trying to show just what we can do. The second is. Uh, just along the perimeter. Now three is really uh, beyond time. I was still beyond uh, just uh, our surroundings. There's still maybe still uh, for the next generation or just uh, to the country. You know, we have much more uh, s strong belief, belief on Arctic on this. Yeah, for the for the third one, uh, the type of the project is expanding in many, many how can I say, many ways. So, uh, so the through the projects like uh, Child Camp House and the uh, kindergarten in the uh, Minami Sanriku and the, and the and the church in Higashi Yahata, something that that kind of project. Uh, through that kind of project, we learned we learned more about the life of the people and so on. So we beginning to knew more what Arctic, what architecture can do for the for the life of the people. So I want all the people to know that kind of thing through the third volume. Some people said that uh, now just uh, well, we are moving out from uh, the houses. To the public buildings, but I wanted you to look at our, our books different kind of way. Wow, still Tezuka's are doing the houses. For us, house is not uh, just a small project. It's the really beginning of architecture. And we found out, you know, what we do, and we are doing the same thing. When we design a school project or the church and a hospital. Still, we have to think human being, and uh, you know when we uh, design a house, we really have to, have to think very carefully. That just we need to expand that idea to you know, bigger, you know, our requirement. That's the only difference. So, just I want to look at you know we are not uh, uh, moving out from the house. Just we. Are are getting more skills to do bigger buildings, but still uh, just we are having the same starting point.